Hey everyone, Mike Andy's here. It's a Saturday. I'm at the Bellingham shop. This is our first location for Augusta Lawn Care. Uh, I made a video here last week and several people said, hey, we've never uh, actually seen the Bellingham shop. And I realized that I probably haven't made a video here for at least six to 12 months. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you around really, really quick. Uh, this is not a full tour. A full tour is on landscapebusinesscourse.com. Um, however, just wanna kinda show you around a little bit. At the end of the day, this is all gonna be history in a matter of a year because we are building a new shop uh, where we can have command center, this shop, franchisee training area the studio all of that in the same locations but this is where it's at this is what's called guide meridian it's kind of like a state highway here in washington state so we have our uh, sign here i think this is i want to say 16 by 8 uh, and then we did these six by six posts treated lumber down like five six feet down in the ground with concrete the whole nine yards it's huge so it is lit up at night as well uh, out front here we have a putting green and then we have uh, some retaining walls, a split rail fence, uh, paver patio, flagstone patio, some other stuff that we kind of do. And then all the trucks are just parked up front here. We haven't had too much theft. Uh, we, we occasionally have every few months, but we have some pretty good alarm systems, really good cameras, um, and the alarms actually have a siren. So it keeps people out of here pretty good. But these are all the trucks out front, out next to the road. And then we have dump trailers. So those are load trail. Uh, we have our dealer just down the street, so we get them from them. They're all seven by 14 yellow trailers. We have two enclosed trailers. As most of you know, we used to have like five or six or five, I forget. Um, but those no longer, we don't really use enclosed trailers. We use these ramp rack systems. Uh, so we do not have to have trailers. A lot of our franchisees at Augusta Nation have this, this sport version, which is not as high, a little bit cheaper and a little bit simpler to install. But honestly, it's still not super easy to install. <laughs> the first one's gonna take you a little bit of time, but you can see we have quite a few of those uh, out here. And then this is where we actually originally started in terms of the office here, is this uh, store shipping container. And on top we have solar. The reason for that is because uh, when we first started here, and still to this day, we don't have any power. So it's all run off of these solar panels and then also propane. Um, we used to have to run off the satellite internet. Thank, thank goodness we don't have to do that anymore. But we had to bring in uh, good internet, which was like 500 bucks a month. It was ridiculous. And then uh, this office is also ran off of generators backup because we don't always have sunlight like it is today. So uh, the thing about this office is we don't really need it anymore. It's basically empty most of the time. And the reason it is empty is because we have command center now. So the phone never rings here. And this is kind of where uh, Marcus hangs out and Lee hangs out, but uh, Lee is doing uh, consulting with our owners at Augusta Nation. And then Marcus is actually a mobile office. So he spends most of his day out in this car right here. So that's C2. And uh, so Marcus is a rock star. He does estimates throughout the day, but is also managing the crew and the team, what they're doing throughout the day. And then command center handles, scheduling, emails, phone calls, all the back end admin stuff. So really we don't need that office anymore. Uh, but when we first moved here, we just spent about $110,000 between the office, putting all these blocks out. We had to bring in hundreds of yards of material uh, to actually make this drivable because it used to be just a bunch of like a dirt, a fill. Um, so we spent hundred over, well over $110,000 just getting this space like prepped. So I would never recommend that to one of our owners of Augusta Nation anymore or anyone that's trying to you know build a lawn care business. You do not need a huge amount of infrastructure or a shop space like this. We originally did this because we were gonna do retail here with all these bins and things. Uh, now, when we build our new shop, we'll probably have half as many bins and it's only gonna be used for our crew. And that's all we use it for now here too. We don't do any retail. We don't load people up with material or anything like that. In the back here, we're really lucky in the back here to have a space to dump off of that cliff. And uh, let me go ahead and show you one of these boxes. We have three of these shipping containers that we use for storage. These are great for storage. Unfortunately, in 2021, with the whole shipping issues and transportation, the cost of these things went through the roof. We used to get these for 2,500 bucks. Uh, these are 40 feet long. These are great. We actually have power inside of them too. Uh, they're wired up. However, now these are literally like seven, $8,000. It's ridiculous. So I don't know if there's a necessarily a good return on them anymore, but they're great because super hard to break into, super secure and keeps everything out of the elements in terms of equipment and things. So we do keep our mowers inside of the indoors, inside these containers. Although on the ramp rack systems, we do leave the uh, hand tools locked up. But let me go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside this one. All right, so if we go inside now, this is what we call box three. And these all have a meaning on the side. 
in terms of things that are labeled, in terms of which truck they're supposed to be going on. Because over here we have the 30 inch mowers, over here we have the 21 inch mowers. So you can see them all. They're all labeled though in terms of which one they're supposed to be going on based upon the uh, spray paint. And they also have on the ground here what they should be uh, labeled as. And then obviously it's the walk zone. So they have this X here. No one's supposed to be putting anything in this. So that way, if you have a specific truck and you say, okay, I'm gonna be taking this mower. Great, I should be able to just take this out into the uh, walkway and then take it out for the day. So this is a pretty busy uh, box in the morning. This is just for push mowers. That's all this box is for. Those other two boxes, the storage containers are used for fertilizer and then also another one for shop maintenance. So anything that's broken is organized and kept uh, track of with a, a tagging system to make sure everything is fixed. And if something is broken throughout the day, they just have to tag it, put their name on it, what's wrong with it. And then one of the guys will fix it. So in the back here, obviously every shop has a material graveyard and I keep this stuff for mostly just until we move. Uh, but it's always a constant reminder to not do jobs that are one off and custom stuff because you end up having a material graveyard stuff where all the remains are left and die. But a lot of the stuff we do use, like these pavers, it's the only type of paver we'll ever use uh, on a job. Those blocks, we'll reuse those all the time. Uh, but yeah, this is where we dump. There's a, another storage container back there. And we did get, we did stop doing snow plowing services this past uh, winter, but we did keep one salter and one plow just for the future headquarters uh, to make sure that we can clear snow, if, if it does snow for the office, to be able to get in and out, a command center and a local team. Over here we do have we still do have one track loader and one skid steer. We sold off one of our skid steers because we've just been focusing more and more on simple services, mowing, treatments, property cleanups, mulch jobs. You know, those that's our bread and butter, uh, not massive amounts of grading and things. But we do have a New Holland L220 and then also a Takuchi that we kind of modified and painted yellow and green, etc. So this is kind of a really quick brief look around the shop. Uh, it's nothing great and we're really not spending any more time or money trying to make it better simply due to the fact that we are moving in a year. We'll be at another location and that, at that location we'll really make it exactly what we want because we own it. And this property is about two acres. We got a steal of a deal. We got we pay a thousand dollars a month for this place. But again, we have to put a hundred and ten over $110,000 into building this place out, getting this shop, all this stuff set up. It's horrible because I got to pay $500 a month just to get an internet over here. Uh, you got trash and like utilities, all that garbage. You do not want that when you come to a shop. You want to be able to have a space where you can park your trucks and uh, you don't need an office space. You, you know, get virtual assistance, get someone to take your phone calls outside of the office. It would reduce your overhead. Uh, this location now, after our lease is over this year, is gonna be like four to $5,000 a month, just again to lease the land. And so uh, that's kind of going market rate. It's not like it's super expensive. It's just how it is. It's commercially rated, two acres right against the highway with great frontage. Uh, so that's why we're, we have to build. We're, we got five acres. I'd much rather be spending you know, that money towards a mortgage in a place where we can actually make it what we want and really refine all the processes and how exactly we want everything set up. This is not ideal. This is not exactly what I want, but we've, we've known for the past year we're moving. So we really haven't put much time into reorganizing these blocks, figuring out a bit more efficient way of doing things. But I come here on Monday and Thursday mornings for team meetings. These are the two other uh, boxes. Oh, you know what? This is like this. Is the, you always have to have an embarrassing part of the shop tour. This is where all the back of the beds go of the trucks once we take them off for the uh, the tailgates for the uh, ramp racks. But this is where everyone parks uh, throughout here uh, for the employees. But yeah, that's basically the quick quick shop tour. LandscapeBusinessCourse.com has like a two hour one where we went more in depth into all the different things here. But uh, hope that was helpful. And I'm doing this mostly for the fact that in a year uh, this will be history and we will no longer have this location. So take care, everyone.